If you enjoy the content on this channel, please like and subscribe. The 44th Golden Raspberry Awards, or Razzies, honours the worst in film it had to offer in the year of 2023. The awards will take place on March 9th, 2024. But the nominations were announced on January 22nd, 2024, and that's what this video is about. These awards are based on votes from members of the Golden Raspberry Foundation, 1,179 movie buffs, film critics and journalists, from 49 US states and two dozen foreign countries. Just a quick background about the Golden Raspberries. It's a parody award show honoring the worst in cinematic failures. Co-founded by UCLA film graduates and film industry veterans, John J. B. Wilson and Mo Murphy, the Rossi Awards satirical annual ceremony is preceded by its opposite, the Academy Awards, by four decades. The term raspberry is used in irreverent sense, as in the term blowing a raspberry. The statuette itself is a golf ball-sized raspberry atop a Super 8mm film reel, atop a 35mm film core with brown wooden shelf paper glued and wrapped around it, sitting atop a jar lid spray-painted gold with an estimated street value of $4.95. The Golden Raspberry Foundation has claimed the award encourages well-known filmmakers and top-notch performers to own their bad. The first Golden Raspberry Awards ceremony was held on March 31, 1981 in John J.B. Wilson's living room in Hollywood to honour the perceived worst films of the 1980 film season. To date, Sylvester Stallone is the most awarded actor with 10 awards. And 2024 does not miss out on giving Stallone some strong nominations. The fourth part in Sylvester Stallone's franchise, The Expendables, leads the Razzie nominations this year with seven. Stallone himself is also nominated for Worst Supporting Actor, with co-star Megan Fox up for Worst Supporting Actress. Other nominees included are The Exorcist Believer and Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, with five nominations each. The Winnie the Pooh slasher film took advantage of the copyright for A. A. Milner's classic tale expiring and reimagined the characters of Hundred Acre Wood as vicious serial killers. The film has also been nominated for Worst Picture, Worst Screenplay and Worst Ripoff, while Pooh and Piglet are nominated as the Worst On-Screen Couple, along with director Reese Frank Waterfield also being nominated for Worst Director. The Exorcist Believer, which serves as a direct sequel to The Exorcist released in 1973, has also been nominated for Worst Picture, Worst Director for David Gordon Green and Worst Screenplay 2. But this is not the only exorcism-themed film from the nominations, with Oscar winner Russell Crowe also nominated for Worst Actor for his portrayal as Father Gabriel Amoth, a priest who's performed more than 100,000 exorcisms in The Pope's Exorcist. But as I mentioned earlier, the leading film this year in the amount of nominations is The Expendables 4, the fourth film in this never-ending action franchise. Along with the Worst Picture nomination and Worst Director nomination for Scott Wall, the film is also nominated in the Worst Remake, Ripoff or Sequel category and Worst Screenplay. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is also nominated for Worst Sequel. Starring Harrison Ford for the final time as the archaeologist adventurer, the film flopped at the box office and received mixed reviews from critics. The film is also nominated in the Worst Screenplay category, which is rather sad for this great film franchise. Vin Diesel has also made it onto the list this year for Worst Actor for the 10th Fast and the Furious film, while Shazam! Fury of the Gods has four nominations, including one for Oscar winner Helen Mirren in the Worst Actress category as well as Lucy Liu in the Worst Supporting Actress category. And the film itself gets nominated also for Worst Picture of the Year. One of my least favourite films of the year, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, also has four nominations. For Peyton Reed in the Worst Director category, Michael Douglas in the Worst Supporting Actor category, and the film is also nominated in the Worst Remake, Ripple for Sequel. Anita Ramos and Chris Evans are nominated for Worst Actress and Actor respectively, as well as in the Worst Screen Combo for their horrible action comedy film, Ghosted. Salma Hayek also gets a nod in the Worst Actress category for Magic Mike's Last Dance as Maxandra Mendoza. She, along with the Magic Mike franchise film star Shannon Tatum, are also nominated in the Worst Screen Combo for what proved to be a disappointing ending to the Magic Mike franchise. Megan Fox is the only actor to be nominated for two different films, Worst Actress for Johnny and Clyde and Worst Supporting Actress for Expendables. She was also nominated for Worst Actress in 2022. In Not a Shock, Jason Statham gets nominated for his role as Jonas Taylor in Meg 2 The Trench, which is also nominated for Worst Film of the Year, along with director Ben Wheatley also being nominated. Some other big names nominated this year is John Voight for playing Patrick Quinn in the film Mercy, Jennifer Lopez playing the mother in the action film The Mother, Mel Gibson playing Kevin Hickey in The Confidential Informant, Bill Murray as Lord Cryler in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and Kim Cattrall as Tigger in About My Father. The show has always been described as the ugly cousin to the Oscars, and the Razzies always reveal their winners, or should I say losers, the day before the Oscars, every year. Sylvester Stallone now is the most nominated actor in Razzie history, receiving his 16th nomination for Worst Actor this year. 
Look, as always, I just love the Razzies. It's fun to see the other side of the glitz and glam of Hollywood. And there's some absolute real howlers this year in the nominated categories. And in the same breath, it's sad to see the likes of a Russell Crowe, for example, nominated for Worst Actor. But don't forget, of course, there is the Razzie Redeemer Award, which is for actors who have received or won Razzies, and then, of course, turn it around by winning an Oscar. Whoever takes home the Razzies this year, it shall prove to be a fascinating event, and the Moving Picture Review will have all the night's events covered in full detail.